Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is all about how a nice suit led Gwen Shotwell to SpaceX. A businesswoman and an engineer, Gwen Shotwell, born November 23, 1963, reside in New York. Her responsibilities include overseeing day-to-day -day business operations and company growth at SpaceX, an American space transportation firm. She is ranked 49th among the world's most powerful women by Forbes as of 2020. A list of the top 100 influential people in the world in 2020 features Shotwell. Shotwell was born in Evanston, Illinois, as the middle of three daughters to a brain surgeon and an artist, and was raised in Libertyville, Illinois. While watching the Apollo 11 mission on television in 1969, she found it boring and didn't care about space in those days. At high school, Shotwell excelled both academically and athletically, where she was a member of the cheerleading and varsity basketball teams, as well as achieving at the top of her class. Gwen Shotwell, President and Chief Operating Officer of SpaceX Gwen Shotwell, President and Chief Operating Officer of SpaceX, spoke to students at Chapman University in Orange County as part of a text program last year. Engineering America was the theme of her address, and it addressed the rise and fall of the United States as the global leader in technology and science. Shotwell said he would like to discuss Thomas Edison, an engineer known as an inventor. A college crowd laughed at me aside, which implied that engineers sucked at marketing themselves, explaining why he's known as a designer instead of an engineer. There was, however, an element of truth embedded in it. A company cannot succeed without a successful way to sell new technology, and engineers are not known for being gregarious. Space equipment, for example, requires a salesperson who has a thorough understanding of the product, along with the ability to relate to the clients personally and close the sale. Shotwell fills that need. SpaceX was a tiny startup with big money and even bigger dreams when she joined in 2002. Elon Musk, a billionaire entrepreneur, is known for starting Tesla and PayPal. His company is a space transportation company. Shotwell became Shotwell's seventh employee when he was named vice president of business development. She closed the biggest ever commercial rocket launch contract eight years later with Iridium, a Virginia-based company. SpaceX's vice president of general counsel, Tib Hughes, said that Gwen is dynamic. She combines engineering talent with business acumen and likability. He said, Gwen had been selling launch services even before we had launched a rocket, he said, that has allowed her to do extremely amazing things that would be exceptionally rare for most people to be able to do. How a nice suit led Gwen Shotwell to SpaceX. The cheerleader from Illinois did well for herself. 50-year-old Shotwell grew up in Libertyville, a suburb of Chicago, as a popular student who excelled in school but never thought about a career path. An artist, Shotwell's mother noticed her fascination with the mechanisms of things. It was her daughter's begrudging choice to attend the conference. There were engineers of all kinds on the panel, Shotwell said. The engineer's comment immediately caught my attention. Her suit was beautiful and her shoes fabulous, so I thought, that's it. It was as simple as that. Shotwell didn't overthink his decision and applied only to one school, Northwestern University in nearby Vanston, based on its strong mechanical engineering program. She completed both her Bachelor of Science and Master of Science degrees in mechanical engineering and applied mathematics there. Upon graduating with a master's degree, she moved to the South Bay of California, where she worked for Aerospace Corporation. The company provides assessments and analyses of space programs as a federally funded think tank. Thermal analysis was performed by Shotwell. Shotwell spent 10 years on a government program, seeing how it was conducted. The execution of some of them was excellent, but a great deal of waste occurred in others. Space wasn't just about the government for me. I wanted to see it from a broader perspective. She learned how to sell while at Microcosm, a private space launch company in El Segundo. At Microcosm, she directed the division in charge of space systems. Her business experience has been all practical, on-the-job training. I don't have any formal business school training, she said. Selling complex products requires an engineering-minded approach and a deep understanding of the product. So, with that, we have come to the end of this video. 
I hope you enjoyed watching it. What do you think about how a nice suit led Gwyn Shotwell to SpaceX? Let us know your views in the comment section below. Until the next video, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more uploads like this. See you soon. Bye.